listen, you have to hear the words I'm saying. And if you hear them, they will begin to transform you into something you weren't before. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. I have the ability to change people's lives, and I mean totally transform them into something they weren't before from this to that from poverty to wealth from being sick all the time to being healed only from being ravaged by old age to having their youth renewed but you must be willing to hear you have to hear listen you have to hear the words i'm saying and if you hear them they will begin to transform you into something you weren't before the veil shall be taken away now the lord is that spirit mm -hmm. that's not what a lot of people were expecting but we know it to be a fact and where the spirit of the lord is or where the spirit lord is literally there is liberty can you imagine that where the spirit lord is there is liberty but we all with open face beholding as in a glass or as in a mirror the glory of the lord what lord the spirit lord yes. we are beholding mm -hmm. his glory beholding as in a glass the glory of the lord his glory are what changed beholding his glory mm -hmm. the spirit lord yes. we are changed how are we changed by beholding his glory what if we don't behold his glory then we can't be changed in this way into the same image the same thing we are beholding when you start to know who the spirit lord is and that as we behold him as we get revelation of him as we see him and know him what are we changed into his image just like him say i become, I become. Just, like just like him which means you're changed into what whatever he is but see you have to have revelation of what he is we're changed into the same image from one glory to another glory mm -hmm. so from whatever glory you're on when you're looking at him and beholding him you're changed into another glory and when you are in that glory you're not the same as you were before That's right. say I'm not the same I'm not the same mm -hmm. I deal with people regularly some actually say this i don't want it that way <laughs> i don't want to confess the word and have it change me i want my circumstances changed mm -hmm. i want god to come into my situation and change it they've been thinking that about it for that for a long time and it hasn't changed and i'm telling you why the circumstance doesn't change you change you move into the circumstance and the circumstance obeys you really mm -hmm. say the circumstance, the circumstance obeys me you changed and the circumstance obeyed does this make sense I want God to come into my circumstance it even sounds ridiculous now doesn't it I want God to come into my circumstance and fix it and change the circumstance I'll be thankful if he does I'll worship him if he does 
this this is the extent of your change this is the extent of what you're willing to change is to thank him and then worship him after the fact I'm telling you I'm gonna say this many times tonight you don't even know what you want yet because you haven't changed into the person who wants the thing yeah. when you're changed you want something different well I know I want my house paid off I know I want a better job I'm telling you from experience I used to have things that I wanted that when I began to speak the word those things changed what really changed I changed you don't know until the word spoken changes you we are changed from glory to glory not your circumstances well that's not why I came here I want God to change my circumstances well you came to the wrong place God's gonna change you we are changed from glory did it say and your circumstances will be changed from glory to glory even as by the Spirit Lord yeah. now he said you will be changed all your circumstances will change all right because they will obey you yes. but you're the one who gets changed say I'm the one, I'm the one. who gets changed. changed and everybody's always <laughs> nothing's happening nothing's happening by the words of your mouth I can tell nothing's happening we are changed if you don't see it yet in the physical mm -hmm. then keep at it that's not where you see it first anyway yeah. you see it on the inside you see yourself being changed say I see myself, I see myself being, changed. being changed remember it's as in a mirror we're beholding the glory of the Lord we'll get into that mm -hmm. and what's changed we are mm -hmm. the glory that we behold requires you to be changed you become a healed person and your physical body changes mm -hmm. see people is this an easy message to get across you become a healed person and your physical body changes I got what I want God to heal my physical body you are changed into a healed person and your physical body obeys and changes you become a wealthy person and your finances change to meet you get it straight a lot of people are getting it are you here yes we're changed into the same image as he is mm -hmm. by beholding him is he healed mm -hmm. holy ghost spirit lord yes. yeah he's pretty healed mm -hmm. how about is he wealthy is the spirit lord wealthy yes. he's the wealthiest being that ever existed and when you behold him you change into a wealthy being mm -hmm. say i'm a wealthy being I'm a wealthy and wealthy being. beings go about being wealthy you go from glory to glory it changes you you become a younger person and what happens your physical body and things begin to change to meet you yes. are you here mm -hmm. well i must speak from this place it's where i live and my faith is here in this spirit god in this holy ghost in this living god who's god in the earth today mm -hmm. i speak from this place when i'm speaking about the holy ghost in a way that a lot of people have never heard before mm -hmm. well you can't go here unless you hear that these words will take you someplace that you haven't been before and they will change you transform you in a way that you couldn't be before mm -hmm. worship is a price paid up front well i'll worship him if he comes and does this to my situation worship is a price paid up front he waits to see if you're legit holy ghost i andrew hemstrott worship you 
you are god in the earth today and i'm changed by beholding you and worshiping you and speaking in agreement with your word i worship you holy ghost mm -hmm. did i stutter no did i try to hide behind some other kind of religious concept no, no i didn't and if you don't do that you don't know what i'm talking about because you can't come in here worshiping him removes that veil and change begins to happen did you hear that and change begins to happen when you worship him the holy ghost as god the veil is taken away and change begins to happen i testify to the fact i am not the same person i was when i didn't worship the holy ghost i'm telling you are you here yes so worshiping him the holy ghost removes that veil and change begins to happen mm -hmm. what change you being changed into what you behold of him when you change the circumstance changes every time it can't not obey you when you change the circumstance changes every time where does it happen first mm -hmm. in you always first say the change, the change. Happens, in happens in me always, always. First. first and then it just happens out there yes seemed like an afterthought it was like an afterthought because it happened after yes. are you here mm -hmm. yes. is this fine yet worshiping him changes you confessing his word changes you yes. it's one of the things you learn as you're worshiping him that he is god and he's the one who spoke these words holy men of old spake as they were moved by the holy ghost they spoke his words well as you're worshiping him you begin to have the revelation it's unveiled to you say unveiled to me, unveiled to me. that these are his spoken words yes. so when i confess them i'm being changed by them into what he said mm -hmm. worshiping him changes you confessing his word changes you both are prices paid up front it creates you into something you weren't before you you and people are like oh i know what i want you have no idea what you want because you weren't even created into the thing yet that wants something that word has to create in you a new you so that you can have the image of the next thing that you're going to are you here yes change 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 people don't like change because it's uncomfortable they like to have it the way it used to be mm -hmm. you see mm -hmm. that's why i say you can't possibly even know what you want i'm telling you how do you know this stuff because i do it and i'm telling you from my experience i must preach from this place as i confess the word it's literally recreating me into something else mm -hmm. his image the newly created you knows something the old you didn't know mm -hmm. you're seeing a little bit of him and it changes you yes. his goodness is his glory it's what you're seeing you remember moses he said show me your glory he went up on the mountain god's like okay well you hide behind that rock and i'll pass by and let all my goodness which was him his goodness i'm letting my goodness pass before you mm -hmm. and after that moses came down off the mountain and what put a veil on his face that's what paul was talking about but now the lord is the spirit we take away the veil and we behold 
the glory of the Lord who is that spirit and we we are changed by beholding his glory it's this glory that changes you mm -hmm. into itself you are changed does the glory change you yes. we're changed from the glory yes. mm -hmm. if the glory changes you you are not the same that you were before the glory began changing you That's right. i'm trying to make it clear mm -hmm. it changes you into the goodness you behold if you don't know that he is the wealthiest being that ever existed good luck being changed into that you're blocked behind a mm -hmm. veil yes. that we are taking away mm -hmm. well how committed are you to worshiping him and speaking in agreement with his word until you are changed most people aren't very committed no. most people don't see the value in it people will write to me and i'll say how well did you did you listen to the last week's message i literally just explained this last week i'm like no i didn't i didn't have time stay up with it yes. say stay up with it stay up with it i have the ability to take you to a place that you've never been before mm -hmm. to be changed to be transformed yes completely transformed when you start beholding him and his glory it makes you look really sad in comparison mm -hmm. except say except except. except except you're being changed into that yes. i'm getting better looking mm -hmm. i'm getting richer i'm getting more healed mm -hmm. it's a fact how is it because i'm beholding him and as i behold him i get changed from one glory to the next and it's good you will go through many transformations where you are now is not where you're going to be right. who you are now is not who you are going to be you will go through many say many, many. transformations yeah as you begin to speak in agreement with his word let's say i'm speaking a promise the blessing of the lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it i speak that i spoke it the blessing of the lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it well at first i can recognize and see that it's true we know the word is true his word is truth it's the first thing that comes to me mm -hmm. then as i keep and continue speaking the word the blessing of the lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it i begin to believe it mm -hmm. first i thought it was true then i began to believe it yes. am i being changed yeah i'm being changed because now i believe something i didn't believe before how many people do you think know that the word is true yeah the, the word's true mm -hmm. say the word's true. the word's true but when you say that verse of scripture you go the blessing of the lord makes you rich also the blessing of the lord makes you rich adds no sorrow with it. they don't quite believe it they haven't said it enough until they believe it they haven't been changed from just knowing the word is true into believing the word is true they had to have that transformation take place yes. are you here mm -hmm. yes. then they start believing something different yes i believe the blessing the blessing of the lord makes me rich mm -hmm. say so makes me rich makes me rich that's different yes so you keep speaking it the blessing of the lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it you begin to observe say observe, observe. that there's power in that word transforming changing ability and power in that word mm -hmm. to bring itself to pass mm -hmm. that's different mm -hmm. i'm being changed now i'm never going to stop saying it now you can't tell me to come up and say things like it's not working mm -mm. how is it because i knew it was true i began to believe it 
and then i saw that there was power in it that began to affect and change me yeah but your circumstances i don't care about the circumstances anymore mm -hmm. because i'm different and you keep speaking it the blessing of the lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it. why aren't the other people in your church saying that because they still just think it's true but maybe not for them and then listen and then as you continue to speak it his word you see behind the veil that that is him looking out at you his glory what happens when you see his glory it changes you into the thing said it goes from being true to something you might believe to seeing that there's power in it and you see him looking out of that word at you and he says it's me and when i see that it's him i'm changed into that image are you here yes. the glory changes you you become that thing mm -hmm. spoken i could say that straight up for an hour and a half until you got it i become that thing spoken you become like him the one who said it glory literally means weight it's used that way and it's you know when they talk about gold oh that's a that's glorious meaning it, it was weighty it was a weighty substance mm -hmm. as you continue to speak the word your words become weighty you will gain weight <laughs> you will gain a lot of weight now people will be like oh they get heavy they get heavy man your words get heavy i'm saying the blessing of the lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the lord now I start to see beyond just saying those words and I see that the blessing is something that came from him mm -hmm. it was a blessing of the Lord what is that blessing going to do it's going to make you like him in that area yes. the blessing of the Spirit Lord say that the blessing of the Spirit Lord makes me spirit lord rich no sorrow added it makes you the kind of rich he is and when you get there you want something completely different than you wanted before you were changed mm -hmm. and then look at it says this is uh proverbs 10 22 you know the blessing of the lord makes you mm -hmm. rich yes. he makes you the kind of rich he is what kind of rich is he he's rich no sorrow added mm -hmm. no shadow of turning mm -hmm. no wavering don't get used to me saying this this way because in my estimation it's a cop-out people do it all the time when they use this verse of scripture but I'm gonna do it for a purpose the blessing of the Lord makes me spiritually rich because you can see why pe people do this because uh -huh. you know pe they're so offended over in churches say oh the blessing of the lord will make you rich <laughs> the blessing of the lord will make you the kind of rich he is it came from him it's his blessing but the blessing of the lord will make you spiritually rich is he spiritually rich yes it will make you physically rich mm -hmm. in your physical body healed rich and it will make you financially rich which is the actual meaning of the word are you here yes. what kind of rich is he see now you can't know this until you know him as God and begin to look at him as God and his glory changes you into that kind of rich yes. mm -hmm. that's different his kind it's his blessing it's his glory it's his word that he spoke mm -hmm. and put his glory in no sorrow added yes. he ain't got none mm -hmm. no shadow of turning he doesn't turn from it mm -hmm. neither will you 
say he doesn't turn from it he doesn't turn from it neither will, I. neither will i why because you've been changed by it he's pure wealth he's pure healing and health he's pure youth renewal go from one glory to the next glory let him and his word change you worship him speak in agreement with his word and watch how you change this is glory and this is where we're going and these words will take you there yes. i'm being converted into the spirit lord rich mm -hmm. the spirit lord kind of rich you don't even know what that means don't tell me you know what it means mm -hmm. but as we confess it we're changed till we can see a little bit more mm -hmm. and as you listen as you see him you will be changed and so shall it be unto you thank you holy ghost that the blessing is on these people and they're beginning to be changed from one glory to the next and poverty will flee from them sickness will flee from them old age problems will flee from them because they're walking with you as god in the earth today and we give you all the glory and the praise in jesus name amen, amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost you are god in the earth today i worship you i give and it's given unto me good measure pressed down shaken together running over men give into my bosom with the same measure i meet it's multiplied back to me there's glory in these words the father is and i'm in changed heaven. into them jesus in jesus right name here. amen holy ghost your god, god on the earth